I'm obsessed with Galaxy's Edge. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge reinvigorated my love for Star Wars. Hello everyone, this particular video is brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. Now, there's nothing more important than taking care of your face and your body in the bathroom. And that's why Dollar Shave Club is my choice for taking care of my face and my body in the bathroom. Dollar Shave Club sent me a box with a sampling of all of their latest stuff. And I know what you're thinking. Shave Club must mean it's only shaving products. But believe you me, baby girl, I boy, it's more than just that. Uh, what do we have in here? Oh, a toothbrush, shave butter. I use this personally whenever I shave. It doesn't look like I shave very often, but I do in these trouble areas down here. I don't want to get that neck beard going. A whole new set of razors. The Dollar Shave Club Signature Razor Hydrating Body Cleanser. Toothpaste, a face cleanser, a prep scrub, a post shave do. So guys, right now, Dollar Shave Club has this awesome offer where you can get their shave, shower, or oral starter set, each for only five bucks. Join the club. Get this exclusive deal at dollarshaveclub.com slash Steve Zaragoza. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash Steve Zaragoza. Why don't you check out that description to click on that link. Get yourself some good products and feel about as fresh as a Zaragoza. And that's pretty fresh. All right, back to the video. Thanks, Dollar Shave Club. I mean, I, I don't think I bought too much stuff from Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, you did. You did? Why would you embarrass me like that when I'm making a video? Huh? Why would you embarrass me? I'm making a video. You trying to make jokes? You think you're the joke guy? I'm the joke guy. You're the guy that just like laughed. Nobody even knows your name, dude. That's not cool. Whatever, dude. It's not cool to make, make fun of me when I'm making, making a video with a sponsor in it. It's a lot. What? Give me a dime. Alright, now he wants dimes. Yeah, dime! Give me a dime! Feed me dimes! Dimes, dimes, dimes! You have to shut the hell up for the whole rest of this video, you understand? Or am I gonna give you a dime ever again? Guys, this is my Disneyland Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Hall. These are the things that I kind of really wanted. As you can see, one of those things is a Jedi braid that is in my hair. I, I just kind of like stopped liking Star Wars for a while because I didn't really like The Last Jedi and I definitely didn't like Solo. And, you know, I mean, there's just so many good movies out there. Like, legitimately good movies. And good sci-fi, too. So, Star Wars has been, you know, propelled into the zeitgeist as this monster powerhouse of popularity and money and movies and TV shows and video games and comic books and regular books. I guess I kind of got burnt out on it, to be quite honest, but something magical happened to me uh, when I first walked into Galaxy's Edge when um, my friend invited me to the cast member preview. Something happened. I mean, walking through the the resistance area of, of Galaxy's Edge of Batu, which is the name of the planet that you are on when you're in Galaxy's Edge, there was just this slew of beautiful nature sounds because you're in this like you know really naturey wonderful hidden alcove kind of place where the resistance has their their secret base just walking through there and hearing all those sounds and those like ewok village birds sounds and stuff it just kind of like reactivated so much that i loved about star wars and the deeper i went into galaxy's edge the more i kind of was just like Oh man, Star Wars is so cool, no matter what.
I had been following the progress of the construction of this place for quite some time, and, you know, I mean, I was getting excited about the rides, and, and it, the excitement was there, and especially at D23, when you could see the big model of the, of the land, and, but nothing, nothing can compare to being there, being in that marketplace that just feels so inherently Star Wars. It feels so perfectly foreign and alien. They just did such a good job making this place. It's an undeniable thing that they did such a good job building this place. And it's an absolute success to me, you know? It did, it did everything that it was supposed to do from a fan base standpoint, which is to make you incredibly excited and, and to make you feel like a child and truly make you feel like you're in a Star Wars land, and they nailed it. They truly nailed it. I mean, there's First Order stormtroopers walking around the, the First Order area, and, and there's, like, in-universe, like, deep, you know, established characters from the new EU, the new expanded universe, and I guess they introduce this character named Vi, who ends up being, like, Princess Leia's, or I'm sorry, General Leia, or whatever she's called now. I don't know. I don't keep up. The thing is, is like, I used to... Oh, shit! Who turned on the architect's thing? There's this there's this entirely new lore that's being created from the new movies and and there's a new expanded universe in the new novels and comics and you know there there's so many things that I don't I don't know and and but I did learn about Vi she's like the top spy for Princess Leia and the Resistance I mean she basically established um, the resistance base in Batu. So when you go to Batu and you see the resistance area with the X-wing parked, and there's like all these trees kind of covering things up and and hiding things so that when the first order comes through, it's not obvious that it's a resistance base. Um, but you see this character Vi like running around the park, and she's like hiding from first order stormtroopers. And she was over by Savi's where you can build your own lightsaber, and she was like talking to people in line, and she's like, "Are you here for?" you know, the scrap metal, and she, she's really, there's this whole rich story involved in, 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 um, Galaxy's Edge, and there's, like, a novel coming out all about it, and it's, like, a prequel to, to the, to the land, which is, like, really strange stuff, but the book basically ends with the story that, um, Kylo Ren and the First Order come to Batu because they receive word that there's a hidden rebel base there, or I'm sorry, a hidden resistance base there, um, and so that's why Kylo Ren is there, and that's why you'll see Kylo Ren walking around, and, uh, and, you know, First Order Stormtroopers, and, and Kylo Ren's ship is there, because he, he's there to see, and see if there's Resistance, uh, members there. It's this really kind of, like, immersive story going on, and you don't need to know all of this, and you don't need to be a huge Star Wars fan to have fun there, because you walk around, and it's just, you know, it's like you're on an alien planet. There's all these structures that are very strange, and the rock work. Even if you're not a Star Wars fan, you see that Millennium Falcon, and you're like, wow, I mean, that's so cool. And it's perfect. It's got lights, and steam shoots out of it, and there's, like, engine sounds that emit from it if you hang around long enough, and, you know, you can take as many photos as you want. It's just this wonderful place. And then right next to it is the Millennium Falcon ride, which is, like, even freaking cooler. <laughs> Something that I had to do right away when I got to Galaxy's Edge my first time was to build my own lightsaber. So I did. I built a lightsaber. There's like wood here, wood accents, and you know, it's truly like a hefty metal thing. And then this is the one where people have been um, getting the Rancor tooth uh, down here. They give you this like special pin that you wear when you go into Savvy's workshop because by then you've chosen which group of, of pieces of your lightsaber you want. And so you wear this pin in there and then they know which group of pieces to give you when you're in that workshop. I don't even like Porgs really. And I bought a Porg. They're really cute designs and they're really cute creatures. And 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 I love, I love that this thing is just... And I got Alana this guy, which is, I guess it's like a, a 
I want to say lol cat, but it's not. It's like a, oh man, everybody else knows what this thing's called. A pith cat or something. I don't know, it's some kind of cat. And I guess it's from one of the cartoons, Rebels or something, but what's cuter than that? You rub this thing's head. Oh, I'm sorry, Porg. Are you not getting attention? The things that I, that I, that I ended up liking the most at Galaxy's Edge were obviously the custom sabers are really cool. I don't think I'll be making any more of those unless they introduce new pieces and new um, themes to the workshop, which we've heard plenty of rumors is possible. Um, but I think I'm done with the Savi sabers, but we have these legacy lightsabers that they sell in Dunk Dunker. Dunk! Oh, yelling. I yell if I want, motherfucker, you're mine. So rude. Doc Dunker Gonk Unker. He's Gonk Hunker. Funky House of Toys. Doc Ungar's Den of Antiquities, it, which is one of the shops in Galaxy's Edge, sells all this cool stuff like Jedi food pellets that you can connect to your Jedi belt and really weird stuff like the braids that you can wear. They introduced these things called legacy lightsabers and and again, if you're interested in this, you probably already know all about this, but I'll tell you if you don't really know, but legacy lightsabers are essentially replicas of the classic lightsabers from the films. Excuse me, baby boy, you're gonna have to take a nap. Fuck you, I want guys! And so basically what these are, are replicas of famous lightsabers from the Star Wars movies. I ended up buying Rey's lightsaber, which I, which a lot of people argue is, is actually Luke's lightsaber. Well, it used to be Luke's lightsaber, and before that, it was Anakin's lightsaber, but, um, you know, those people are dead now, so I think I'm gonna call this Rey's saber. So yeah, we I got a replica of Rey's lightsaber, and it's just beautiful and gorgeous, and it, it works the same way all the other sabers do. Um, you pop off this little cap, first of all. <laughs> cap. And then you... Uh, slide this baby in and then ooh that was very loud next to my ear but the cool thing is is that it has the sound effects from the film depending on which blade you have so this sounds as close as possible to Ray's lightsaber in the films as you can possibly get right now. This saber means so much to me as a fan, as a Star Wars nerd. This is Luke's Return of the Jedi saber. There's too many things in Galaxy's Edge. And of course these are heavy duty metal replicas and you can clip them on your belt with the little belt clip that they sell also. Uh, not included with the legacy lightsabers, but you know, I mean, I and I showed this to Owen even who's like the biggest curmudgeon when it comes to new Star Wars stuff and Star Wars in general, because he's even more burnt by Star Wars than I am. And he was like, yeah, man, this is it. This is the saber that we grew up with. This is Luke's Return of the Jedi saber. It's cool, man. If you love these movies and if you love these things, then it's perfect. It's, it's just perfect. Anyway, I just had to gush about Galaxy's Edge and about how my love for Star Wars has been reset essentially because of Galaxy's Edge and Disneyland and I'm just, I've turned back into a child and a big nerd browsing the forums and, and doing all of that and I just, you know, it makes me happy. This stuff makes me happy. Stuff makes me happy and Star Wars makes me happy, and Star Wars stuff makes me happy, so I'm just happy about it, and I had to share it with you guys, and also I had to uh, put a sponsor in a video, so I, you know, I made, I made a video about my Galaxy's Edge stuff, because I didn't know what else to, to really make, but shout out to Disney and Star Wars and everyone involved with Galaxy's Edge and all of my friends that got me into Galaxy's Edge before the official opening, Jenny Nicholson and my pals uh, who, uh, my cast member pals and my friends who just hit me up. They literally hit me up in my DMs and were like, wanna go to Galaxy's Edge? I have a bunch of open spaces and you can bring Alana if you want. So I finally got to take Alana and so Alana got to do it and she loved it and she and I were pilots on the Falcon 
and we had a really good time and and you know it's just if you're a star wars nerd it's an absolute dream come true and if you're not a star wars nerd it's really fun and really cool and yeah that's kind of all i have to say about it i guess i'm tapped out on galaxy's edge for now but i'm glad i got this out there i'm glad i got to talk about it and put it on camera and uh yeah so anyway shout out to dollar shave club for sponsoring this video and for helping me out and shout out to you guys and if you have questions about any of this stuff or the kyber crystals or the lightsaber belt clip or the the legacy sabers then obviously let's talk about it in the comments and let's nerd out about things and maybe one day we'll run into each other in batu and we'll say to each other till the spire or pleasant suns or whatever the fuck the other things are but uh but yeah so anyway thank you guys for watching you're all good people what'd you think of the video buddy i hate it why i want dimes can you just pretend to be a good person and then I'll want to give you dimes? No, Doc. Dimes! Okay, I'll get you goddamn dimes! Jesus! I gotta go to the bank!